in summary, animal fats killed the beta cell. Just kind of get that. That's new information. It's really important to get. Fish is the worst. Okay? So, if we're going to decrease animal fat, we'll decrease uh, insulin levels, decrease insulin resistance. And that's good. Fat blocks insulin metabolism. And so are animals. Okay, so sugar, glucose, fructose, animal fat, we got problems. And also, and, and, and as I say, it destroys the beta cells, increases insulin resistance, blocks insulin receptors on the uh, on your cells in, throughout the body and blocks the signaling inside the cells. So it's a, not good for us. Okay? Um, it blocks what we call the group 4 receptors that kind of come out to the edge of the cell to pull sugar in. A lot of problems. So, high fat, animal fat. So, then we're saying is it about calories, which is the way a lot of people talk about, or it's the nature of the food. I'm obviously, it's the nature of the food is primary. Animal-based nutrition versus vegetable-based nutrition. Now, what also happens is, uh, and I'm not sure what the reason is, but it's good, estrogen tends to stimulate diabetes. Uh, vegan, vegetarian women secrete two to three times more estrogen than meat-eating women. That's protective. That's a good thing, okay? So, vegan and vegetarian women have lower estrogen, which is, again, healthy. Now, what are other problems with animal tissue? Less fiber, right? Less antioxidants. And more inflammation. We have to understand that eating meat inflames the whole system. And that, remember, chronic inflammation is the driving force. That's the key uh, when we're eating meat. It's a driving force behind type 2 diabetes. It's actually a driving force behind type 1 diabetes as well, but for a different reason. Okay. Leucine, methionine are a problem. They increase the rate of aging. Okay. Um, now, this is interesting. Okay, meat's higher in saturated fat. It's also acidic. So acidity increases the rate of diabetes. You know, we got a 56% increase in, in diabetes with that. Low fiber. So meat increases insulin resistance. When you're cooking meat, when you're cooking anything, it's baked, processed, grilled, it's all going to increase ages. It, okay. And ages create free radicals. Free radicals activate you know, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, as well as the rate of aging. So it all starts to come together. So plants also have antioxidants, whereas meat doesn't, that help quench the free radical inflammation. You see how it all kind of weaves together. And, and it, you get to understand it more, too. Um, so phytonutrients, when you cook food, you lose 95% of the phytonutrients. You really don't want to do that. Um, so our diet is 100% live food uh, as we're treating the diabetics. And then once they're three months with a blood sugar less than 100, then uh, we do different herbal supplements and we'll stop those and they still stay in 100, then um, they can go to 80% live, 20% cooked vegan. One of our type 1 diabetics, who's been really good for years and years, uh, 12 years at this point, um, he wrote me, he said, I'm starting to eat fish, and my blood sugars are going up. I said, what's the problem? I said, well, just stop eating fish and see what happens. Blood sugars went down to the you know, low went down to the low 80s again. So that's what we're talking about. Um, the lipotropes which you get in, in, in again, a vegan diet, plant-based diet, decrease the inflammation, okay? And, and they help deal with the fat type situation. So these are uh, 
This is what I just said about the, the vegan vegetarian woman secrete two to three times more estrogen. That's good. Remember that. Okay. Uh, so women are eating meat have 50% higher estrogen. In the big picture, that's not good. It's driving diabetes and it's driving cancer in different ways. Um, so we have really interesting results with a plant-based diet. Even if people they're given the instructions and they don't really follow it, they do one of five things, there's still a 50% drop. They follow all five, 100% prevention. It's kind of interesting. Thank you.